So welcome back. This is part four of the Kwanzaa Overview by Sunny Ray, South Asia Channel Manager. So I'm just doing a quick introduction for those people in India and, and places like Sri Lanka who have not seen our systems before. So this portion is regarding the robotics and haptics portion of our offering. The first system that I'll be speaking about is the Kwanzaa Omni Bundle. So if you're familiar with Sensible, they build this amazing haptic device. It's a 3 degree freedom haptic device. And what we've done is we've essentially worked with this device and we've created a platform for teaching simple robotics. So there's a curriculum that goes along with it. And we essentially turned the system into an open architecture system that you can control through MATLAB Simulink and our software Quark. And again, it comes with the curriculum itself. So if you're looking to just get yourself comfortable with you know, robotics, things such as forward and inverse kinematics, and there's a curriculum um, that covers a whole wide range of robotic topics. Um, not to mention, our Quark software also makes this Omni system open architecture, so you can use it for controlling you know, virtual worlds or interacting with actual Okay, so we're here hardware, at the ITR Whether it be a robot like this, so here's the Denso open architecture um, robot that's enabled by Kwanzaa. Again, you can buy a robot like this from Denso, but if you buy it from Kwanzaa, you get an open architecture so you can get access to all the motors and encoders, and you can essentially design any type of controller you can imagine. So in this case, Amin is actually interfacing or has interfaced the Denso with the six degree of freedom or five degree of freedom uh, haptic high definition haptic device that Kwanzaa uh, develops in house or that we develop ourselves and the situation here is is that you know again Kwanzaa's real expertise has been real-time control systems for the last 23 plus years and what you're seeing here is even though that device is different from this device technically the haptic device could be in India and the Denso robot could be in Canada um, you're able to transmit feeling, so forces and torques over an electrical medium. So very cool. So this is, this is actually the high definition haptic device that we saw in the previous video but you know again this is a haptic device so it's a device that you can use to control either virtual worlds or uh, real robots like you saw in the previous screen. Here you're seeing you can actually see the haptic device itself controlling that virtual needle. Orientation guidance See how it's, even though it's six degree of freedom, using the motors and the encoders and you know the, all the mathematics that goes behind it in MATLAB and Simulink, you're able to do different things. So, so you can essentially create a simulator for a doctor who's looking to practice a certain type of spinal surgery. So this is an example of a telepresence system. Uh, again, where you have one robot controlling another. In this case, it's the, it's the haptic wand controlling the CRS thermal robot, which is one of our older legacy, I guess you could say robots, but we do still support it. But uh, most people nowadays seem to go for the Denso. So what you're seeing here is initially you're seeing that Jacob is having trouble writing. He's going through the paper, um, but then when he presses this button right here, he turns on the haptic feel, and he can feel what this other robot is feeling. And again, that robot could be somewhere else. It could be doing surgery while the doctor's in a hospital, and the robot's doing surgery on a, you know, a, a soldier in the middle of a battlefield, whether it be doing surgery on an astronaut. I mean, there's many, many, many applications. So this one's really exciting. This is actually a, this was a, 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 a 
project that we did with um, a professor where we had to try and simulate a saber-toothed tiger's jaw using this hexapod-like system. So you actually see up there, again, a haptic device, the high-definition haptic device on the top left. And you see here a six-degree freedom hexapod that's being controlled. And uh, this is an amazing system. I believe the payload is around 250 kilograms at 1G. You've got, like I said, six degrees of freedom. Uh, it's a phenomenal, you see the smile on the professor's face there. It's awesome. So the next portion is I'd like to spend a few minutes just talking about the unmanned vehicle systems that Kwanzaa offers. Um, I've already shown you this outdoor video, but here's the cue ball. So let me show you a video of the cue ball here. So this is a quad rotor. It's encaged um, so that it's safer to use. And it's open architecture. So using MATLAB and Simulink, you can interface it to an iPhone. You can design controllers in MATLAB and Simulink and implement them on the uh, high cue board, which is present on board, the cue ball. So this is a really old video of the cue ball, but uh, we'll have to show you some nicer videos. This is the Cubot here. This is essentially the Roomba. Um, again, this is a very, very old video. Um, I promise to be uh, getting our latest marketing material for the next video, but, uh, but I really did want to get a bunch of videos out here as soon as possible just so that we can start introducing a lot of the people here in India to the different products. But this is a great tool for teaching, uh, you know, robotics, UGV concepts inside the lab. You've got essentially the iRobots, uh, iCreate system, and what we've done is we've put a high cue board inside of it and a whole bunch of sensors, a whole bunch of sensors, and integrated a camera and gave it Wi-Fi. And, and, and so now, you know, again, using the MATLAB Simulink environment that control professors are so used to, you can teach control concepts, you can teach your students about sensors, you can teach how to make a line follow a robot, but the hardware is there. It's, I, I know when I was a student, I would have died to have a system like this in the lab. But again, if you ask us, do contact us for additional information. So the thing is, is that again, uh, most of the systems that we do offer are intended for indoor labs. Um, and so when you're getting, let's say, a quad rotor, a cue ball uh, that I showed before and a cue bot together and you want to do some sort of collaborative control, well, you need you don't have GPS indoors. So the OptiTrack system acts as a indoor GPS. And so we've partnered with, with uh, so we work uh, with OptiTrack in, in a way where we support uh, so you can buy actually all the systems that I'm talking about right now from Quanzer and we offer this in an open architecture the format the where we, we've already built. Um, we've made it it's much easier for you to be able to uh, you know, just get your lab up and running and start you know, designing different controllers because that's really what you know, where professors excel. So our, our goal for the last 20 some years has been really to be able to offer these open architecture the modular systems system that, uh, that enable education that you know engage researchers and empower industry to engineer a better world so I'll just finish off this last uh, this last part here with just our new developments again more videos to come this is an old prototype video of one of our new products called the cube that's coming out again I'm not even going to show this video uh, I got some share those with those with you instead but just a quick peek at some of the different systems again we have a, a wind turbine system so um, again this is designed for research it's a pitch controlled so the blades you can actually control the pitch this is all integrated with MATLAB and Simulink so thank you very much for your time and I will talk to you soon